2008 70 books or codices were uncovered in a remote cave in Jordan. The pages are crafted of lead and appear to be almost unreadable, bound together on rings. To an outside observer, they may not look like much, but this was a find that could change the way ancient Christianity is studied and maybe even how we perceive Jesus Christ himself. All right, let's see it. Through rigorous testing, all 70 books were determined to be genuine and date to the 1st century AD, making them around 2,000 years old. No, initial tests paid for by the con artist who initially publicized them found that the lead could be that old. The books reference the apostles John, Peter, and James, as well as the earliest mentions of Jesus Christ. So not a word of this is true because the texts do not say anything at all because they are pure and utter gibberish because that's what happens when a forger creates a forgery that has to include ancient texts. Uh, they mix up a bunch of different scripts from different languages and different time periods in ways that don't produce any intelligible text. Uh, it's very repetitive. There was clearly a stamp that had a single set of lines of text that was repeatedly used on a lot of the codices, and it means nothing. Uh, there was one text that the con artist who was in charge of this Jordan Codices team uh, tried to suggest had been interpreted to mean, I will walk uprightly or I will walk in perfection. They said it came from one of the world's leading experts on Paleo-Hebrew. And they never said who it was, but I was able to get in touch with that scholar who said they want nothing to do with the codices, they do not stand by that translation. It was an attempt to try to generate some kind of sense from some of these texts, but they don't think that the text said that at all. And I've also got a blog post from 11 years ago where I demonstrate that the text absolutely does not say that. And you can find it if you Google a preliminary translation of the Jordan codices is offered even including a portrait of him. The writings in the codices suggest that Jesus was not beginning a new religion. Rather, he was continuing a thousand year... So I'm going to interrupt the video real quick to point out that that codex that they're panning up in the video right there, that's one of the most conclusive pieces of evidence that the Jordan Codices folks are knowingly involved in forgery. And that uh, codex was not released by the Jordan Codices team. They didn't want that to see the light of day. And to know why, you need to know a little history behind this story. See, David Elkington, the con artist in charge of the Jordan Codices team, released a press release on March 31st, 2011, announcing the discovery of these 70 codices that were supposed to date to the first century CE. The previous October, he had sent some photos of some codices to an Oxford classicist named Peter Thoneman and asked him to authenticate them for him. And Peter Thoneman wrote back, said, turns out this was really easy. These are modern forgeries of no more than 50 years old. And he said, the text on there is Greek, but whoever wrote it didn't know Greek because they confused the lambda for the alpha. Additionally, the text is cut off in the middle of words on both sides. It's as if someone yanked it out of the context without knowing where the words began or ended. And he also said, I was able to find the source for this text. It's an inscription on a headstone on display in a museum in Amman, Jordan, and it's only been there for less than 50 years. Somebody copied part of the inscription off of that headstone, but didn't capture the whole thing. They began in the middle of words and they ended in the middle of words. And so he pointed out this is very clearly a forgery. David Elkington ignored that and did not release those codices, but released all these others. And so this creator of this video has unknowingly uh, shown uh, the most conclusive evidence that David Elkington, the con artist in charge of the Jordan Codices team, was knowingly engaged in fraud. These are the earliest known Hebrew Christian documents, which means they could provide valuable information for those practicing Christianity, Islam, or Judaism. It would be awesome if we found a bunch of texts from that time period, but these are all forgeries.